Hello, in this video, I am going to show you load and save states in the EPSXE emulator. So this can be used on EPSXE on Windows, on Linux, on Mac potentially, if you guys set up using Wine, for example. As long as you guys set up, you're all good to go. So what is a save state? So in all games, probably probably one or two out there that you can't actually save. If there is that you know of, let me know. It'd be just cool to hear about. But in most games, you can save in the game and you will do some sort of automatic saving maybe part way through a level maybe when you complete a level that sort of stuff you'll be you know at a certain trigger point it's very you know you know popular in pc games to be able to save wherever you want and that is fantastic for multiple reasons maybe you want to you're playing a game and you need to go somewhere or you need to you know shut it down and you haven't got to a save point you can just save it right there no thing is you can have save states at random literally any point in the game it doesn't have to be in a level you could be on some sort of menu system somewhere random and you just keep them for as long as you want and you could showcase something to you know a friend for example so to actually use these they're really simple first of all let's run a game so i'm going to run crash bandicoot so this is a loading up and another thing that I like to use it for is we're going to get the intro to Crash Bandicoot in a second. It's going to start coming up. And this takes a little while to get through. It's nice. It's cool. But when I'm recording videos or I'm turning it on and off a lot, it's a great way of being able to skip it. I'll, I'll have a save state literally after this. So on the menu itself, because I can't actually skip a lot of this. Uh, so I'll have to skip that bit. Some of the early bits I cannot skip. So, okay. So if I go to start and I'm going to go to the level okay so let me just so I'm going to just stop here naturally i cannot save this there's no way to save this in generally speaking but to save in epsxc what you do is press escape that takes you back to here and if you want to resume it just click continue and it takes you back to the point but if i click escape and you go to run save state and you can save it in one of those slots so you, so you have up to five slots per game i'm going to save into slot two because I've already got something saved in slot one, which is, you know, a main menu skip or go to main menu. And so if I go to slot two, save state, that's saved now. So if I was to quit the game, so if I was to reset it, so if I reset it, I'm just going to wait for the intro to, to appear. I'll show you how easy it is to go back to that state where I was in the level. Or wherever I save that state. So if I click escape and I go to run, load state, slot two, it's loading me back here. So that is a great way of saving your point in a game on a PlayStation 1 game using the EPSXE emulator without the natural built in save system in the game. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. I think I've said save state and save so many times in this video probably like 60 percent of the words said in this video was saved but you know if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video